had never really planned on serving a mission. It was always in the back of my mind, but it was never like something that I definitely necessarily wanted to do. Um, but there were moments in high school when I was a teenager where I felt like it could be something that the Lord wanted me to do. When I was 18, I came to BYU for my freshman year and there was a couple weeks or so, it was a couple months into the first semester and I was just kind of confused. I felt like I was floating, like I didn't really know what the Lord wanted me to do. I knew I was supposed to be at BYU, but my major that I was trying wasn't working out and just some other things weren't going as I thought they would. And so um, it was fast Sunday before general conference. And um, for whatever reason, I don't remember why, I fasted for courage to accept God's will for me in my life. And then that weekend, the next weekend of General Conference, President Monson made the announcement um, changing the age of missionaries when they could enter the field. And for sisters, it went from 21 to 19. And I was 18 at the time, and I was going to be 19 the next spring. And as soon as he made the announcement, the Spirit touched my heart and told me that that was what God wanted for me. And just to confirm that, my mom texted me like five minutes later, and she said, Sydney, what if what if the reason you feel like you're floating is because Heavenly Father wants you to serve a mission? And I was like, yep, I, I think he does. Because the mission had never been in my, in my immediate plan for my life, I thought that I had a couple years to think about it. I was really nervous about going. I was really scared. I felt prepared, but I didn't want to leave behind my life because I loved BYU. Um, my brother was on a mission at the time and he wouldn't be home probably before I left. And um, so I really struggled with the idea for a while that Heavenly Father wanted me to serve. Um, but little by little, he opened my heart and um, I grew in excitement to go. As I was um, turning in my papers, um, there was one day where I was really nervous. It was the night I was going to see my bishop for my final interview and he was going to press the button, send it to the state president, and then they were going to go to Salt Lake. And, um, I was freaking out. I just didn't, I was just like, oh my gosh, I feel like this is the right thing, but I'm, I don't know. And, um, I asked for a priesthood blessing for my home teachers and, um, the first line he said was, Heavenly Father wants you to know that you're making the right decision. So um, I went to my bishop. I had complete peace. I knew it was exactly the right thing to do. A um, couple weeks later, I got my call. And I was prepared to serve wherever Heavenly Father wanted me to go. Um, I didn't put any preferences on my papers. I just said, wherever, wherever you want me. Um, but I... I hoped that I would go stateside um, because I didn't want to learn a language and I don't know, I just felt drawn to staying in the States. Um, so I was actually in my class when the post office called me and told me that my call was had arrived to um, Helaman Halls where I was living. and. Um, so I was like in the middle of class, I was freaking out because my call was there and I had this whole plan to like wait and I was going to wait for all my friends to come and I was going to Skype my family. Um, but then, um, I couldn't wait. And so I went and I grabbed my call. I had two friends there with me. One of them was my roommate and we Skyped my family and that was it. And I opened my call and, um, I read the first part, um, you know, that I was going to be called as a missionary. And then it said that I was assigned to labor in the Washington Spokane mission and that I would be serving in the English language. And um, tears just filled my eyes. I'm a crier anyways, but just the Heavenly Father knew me so well. Like he knew that that serving a mission was a big decision for me in the first place. And he made it so much easier by giving me really what I secretly desired. And it was just a really big testimony to me that Heavenly Father was aware of me and that He loved me.